Hey there, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's me here. And in this channel, we're going to talk about creating digital arts. And yes, I'm saying we're going to because this is the very first video I'm putting out there. So if you enjoy it, I mean the rest of the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Thank you. So without further to say, let's talk about creating digital arts on your phone device. Is it possible? Yes, it is. Actually, I've been creating digital arts on my phone for about five to six months. And I'm not a professional. I'm just a digital art enthusiast. And this whole channel is me sharing my um, journey with you. So just like different artists using different materials, creating different types of art with different tools and different ways... You can do that. You can somehow apply that to digital arts using different apps um, on different devices. You can go creative using, you know, going for different art styles. And you can do anything that you possibly can think of. So, yes, you can create professional digital arts on your phone. I mean, that's what you would expect in 2023, right? Um, so there's so many apps, as I mentioned, for example, for your desktop device, you can go for Photoshop, you can go for IBIS Paint, I hope that it's the way you spell the app's name, and you can go for so many different apps on your tablet, like, I don't know, IBIS Paint, as I mentioned, um, you can use that in any, um, tablet device you can go for procreate if you have an ipad and you can go for i don't know there's so many apps <laughs> and if you have a phone guess what you can go for yes ibis paint <laughs> that's what i'm using actually um it's professional and you can use it on different devices so that's why i'm mentioning it all the time because because you can. <laughs> you can go for a sketchbook. You can go for an app. I think it's an app that's called Paint. Literally just Paint. Um, not the paint you have on your desktop. I mean, it's a different thing. But yeah, you can go for... If you have an iPhone, you can go for Procreate Pocket. I think that's a name. Yeah. And is it hard? Or easy? It is hard. I mean, what do you expect? It is hard creating digital art on your desktop device, on your iPad or your tablet device. So it's definitely going to be harder even for... I mean, I, I can't say harder because I think everyone has it their own way. But it is hard using your phone. I, I mean, creating digital arts. It's just a hard process to learn, but... It gets easier the more you practice and it's worth it. So you just need to practice um, well using good tutorials maybe. So yeah, it is hard, but it's going to be easy in the future. I want to introduce these babies. Pens. You can use cheap, sorry. You can use cheaper pens. You can buy them from um, different online stores. You can maybe find them in um, stores that have things to do with phones and stuff. <laughs> yeah, but these are pretty cheap. I'm pretty sure that if you find them in your country, they're really cheap. And <clears throat> maybe in your country, any type of digital pen is cheap. I don't know. But not here and so I started with these two pens that are really cheap because I wanted to ensure that I kind of am into digital arts and I don't waste my money on <laughs> buying expensive pens but this is the latest pen I bought and it is good I'm telling you it's really good and of course this one was the cheapest and the hardest to work with this one was not too bad, but not too good. And this is perfect. Um, so you can use pens that look like 
this too, I, I couldn't afford to buy one. <laughs> and yeah, you can buy one of these pens um, from different stores and they're going to help you really, really help you much. But you can use your fingers too if you're not into buying pens. Yeah, I sometimes, um, I'm too lazy, like, to go and pick my pens, so I just use my fingers to draw, but it's better to use a pen. And last but not least, can you use your phone to create digital arts and make money out of it? Yes, you do. Of course you do. Wait a second. Sorry. <laughs> Um, so, if you create professional digital arts, you're going to be able to make money out of it. It's not about the device that you're using, it's about the art that you're creating. And if it's good art, you're going to make good money out of it. That's something I can assure you of. For example, you can create comics, you can um, create NFTs, you can... I mean, I'm, I don't know much about NFTs, but I know that you can do it. And you have to definitely go search about anything you want to do with your digital art and figure how you can make money using, I mean, going for that way. Um, and you can, I don't know, maybe sell your digital arts and etc. <laughs> yeah, so on. Um, so that's it for today. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope the first video was good. <laughs> so please, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye. What happened? The light lost its battery. So it's saying goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs>